everyone, I'm Needlecraft Danny. This is floss tip number 138, and I'm really sorry about the light. It's super overcast outside, um, it's super dark, <laughs> but it's noon, so technically it should be quite um, bright outside, but it isn't. Um, we've had rain for the last few days, and it looks like it's not going to stop. So I'm very sorry about the light, but there's just no way for me to get it any better. So we have to deal with it. Um, but I am here to show you what I stitched on this week. Um, and basically, there's no need for a plan section at the end because all the projects I stitched on last week, I'm going to stitch on again this week in the same order um, because that's just now my new rotation. I'm stitching on all my full coverage projects that I have not fin yet finished my year and goal until I reach a specific stitch count goal and then I switch. And whatever I have left of the week, I then um, stitch on my two non-full coverage pieces. This week, or last week, I actually did not stitch on any of my non-full coverage pieces here at home. Because um, I started my week on Monday. And I already told you that I really doubted that I would get any stitching done on Monday. And I did not. I did not do any stitching on Monday. A little bit of travel stitching, so I'll show you that in the end, but no stitching at home. And then on Tuesday, I got started with my weekly stitching. 10 stitches, and that was it. <laughs> I only got about 10 stitches in, and then I had to put it away. So on Wednesday, I finally started, like really started, with my stitching for the week. And the first project I stitched on was Colorado Mountains by Golden Kite. This is going to be the finished piece, and I'll show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I got to. So this is stitched on a 25 count even weave. I'm stitching two over one 10 stitches. And I stitched this in diagonal pages. I have finished the top row um, already. So now I'm stitching on this page down here. Um, before I move into this third row. And I stitch on those pages, I stitch in, a, um, sorry, in columns. And yeah, that's basically what I did. I finished one column completely. I then moved into the next column, stitched the pipe threads from top to bottom. And as you can see, there are still a few more pipe threads up here in the sky. But the forest area I have more or less done. There are a few confetti stitches down here that are not yet filled in, and this column so far is a little bit shorter. Um, so far I have only done about seven or eight stitches wide, and there are two or three stitches that are very confetti heavy, because I am now at this point over here. So this pillar is coming in with a lot of different colors, with a lot of confetti, and therefore I have not yet done that. I bring it a little bit closer what I stitched on, as I said, this column completely and started with this one. And that's going to be where I continue this week. My goal for this one, before I move on to a next project, are 850 stitches. Um, so stitching on it this week, I should be able to finish this column I'm presently stitching on. And at least start the next one, maybe even finish that. Not sure about that. But at least get it started. Um, so, yeah. That's Colorado Mountains. I'm really excited. I'm getting closer and closer to that point over here. So that means I'm getting closer to a page finish. I'm actually not sure how many columns there are uh, left until I get the page finish. But I'm getting closer to a page finish. And yeah, then I will move further down, do this page, and then I will have another row finish. That's very exciting. <laughs> So yeah, my goal this year is to finish this project and that means there's still quite a bit to do, but I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, that's Color and Months. I put it away and then we talk about the next project I stitched on. Um, da -da -da -da. <laughs> the next project I stitched on is another golden kite. It is Norwegian ship under sale, um, and it's a small edition. There is a bigger one, but the small edition for me had enough details, so I went with that one. Um, this is the 
finished piece and a shit picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I got to with this one. As you can see, this is also stitched in diagonal pages. And right now I'm in row number three with the first page. And once again, I stitched this in columns. So since you saw it last, I finished the column I was stitching on and started in on the next one. My goal are 400 stitches every week. And this week, I think I did 550 or even close to 600. So I'm really happy about that. Basically what I did, I stitched this column completely and then I started on this column over here with part threads from bottom to top but the bottom only um, in the sky part and not in the water part and I did stitch it until I um, got my 400 stitches and that last color I started with having 370 stitches completed and then I had more than 100 stitches with one color so that was really nice I got over 500 then and I had about 20 to 30 minutes left um, until I wanted to go to bed. So that's not enough time to start a new project for me because between projects, I always need a break. I cannot stitch on one project, put it away and immediately start on the next one. I need a little bit of a break. So with only having 20 to 30 minutes, I could either put this project away and not stitch for the last half hour, or I just continue stitching on this one and um, that's basically what I did. And I decided to go with the area that's most annoying. <laughs> so I decided to stitch on a little bit of the water down here because it's very confetti heavy. I don't get very high stitch counts um, with that, but it takes a lot of time. So, and it's basically only the last 100 stitches in every column. And I had it a few times already that I started my new rotation and I just had to do the water and it took me two or three hours because I needed breaks in between to just do 100 stitches and then I still had 300 stitches to do and not that much time. So this time um, with my little bit of time left I decided to at least start a little bit in this confetti area, um, get a few of those already out of the way and next time hopefully be a little bit faster with finishing a column. Um, so that, that's basically been the plan and I'm really happy I did it that way. So this week I need another 400 stitches and um, basically I should be able to finish that column then and maybe even start the next one. Um, yeah, I think that's probably it. But I'm really happy that I started down here. Um, this is stitched on an 18 count antique white ADA. I'm stitching two over one for crosses. Needleminder is from Denka Designs. This is the whole thing so far. Um, which means so far I have only five pages done. Considering I'm stitching on this one for over three years now, that's not a lot. Um, I bring this a little bit closer, the part where I stitched on. So as you can see, I stitched a lot starting from the bottom up here. I left those out because um, a lot of those watercolors were in the way of those, um, but they are sky colors as well. So next time I probably stitch on those and then move foot up and then do the rest of the water. Something like that. But yeah, it does look really cool. I'm really looking forward to getting more done on this one. Um, I'm actually not quite sure how much I still need to finish my year goal. Um, and I'm still contemplating um, at the end of September if I'm going to just continue with the same sit counts through the rest of the year or until I finish my year end goals, or if I do my calculations um, anew. Because, for example, Norwegian ship and a sale. When I did my cal calculations, I thought I had 6,000 stitches left. In reality, I only had 5,200. Um, but I did the math with 6,000 stitches left for the year, so four months, every month 1,500 stitches. Um, and then I decided to make it easy for me um, every week, so 1,500 through four. Every week I just do 400 stitches instead of the 3, uh, 375 that I probably should have done. So I just Every week I do a little bit more than I need to 
and I already calculated with a higher number left than I actually had left. So I'm still thinking about doing my calculations new um, at the end of September. Maybe have lower stats card goals or put them a little bit higher and finish them sooner. <laughs> so for example, if I end up with Norwegian ship on the sale and I only need 250 stitches every week to finish until, until the end of December. I then could decide to just go with 400 and finish until the end of November. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do my calculations new at the end of September or not, but I have two weeks left to decide that. So I'm going to take the time and think about it a bit more. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next project I stitched on. I then started on Friday morning with this project. The project is The Jimmy Sweep by Golden Kite. This is going to be the finished piece and I showed a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I got to. So I stitched this one extreme cross country as you might know if you saw a few of my videos already. And last time I stitched on this one, I started a new color, so this time I continued with that color. I did more over here and over here, so you can see more of the building itself come to life. And then I moved over here and did more over here as well. Um, so basically I moved through the second row of pages. I'm not yet done. There's still some of that color left on the last row of that uh, last page of that row. So I'm going to continue with the same color over here and then moving down into all that confetti. And I might be able to finish that color this week or I will need until next week to actually finish that. But down here, there are less stitches, um, there are less stitches of that um, color just because it's more of a confetti situation and not so much background stitching. So for example, this part over here, there's a lot of that new color. Over here, there's a lot of that new color. It's not exactly block stitching, but it gets close to it. And down here, that's just not the case. So getting those 400 stitches I need might um, get me close to finishing that color and then I just do it. Or it might actually get me to finish off that color and then I can start with a new one up here. Um, but we'll see about that. This is stitched on 25 count um, light blue even weave. I'm stitching two over one ten stitch, meaning my little bank kind of lines. And holding it back here, I actually really love the fact that you can see how it gets a little bit darker the closer you get to the bottom and the, the part of the, the houses. So that's really cool because that's the way it is on the cover picture as well. It gets a little bit darker the further you, down you get. So it's really cool that that's starting to be visible. So yeah, really happy with that. Can't wait to get another 400 stitches in. I think this time around I also did more than 500 on this one. I did two lengths of thread. I ended with about 380 stitches. So I needed 20 more. I started a new length of thread. And as those are blended threads, those take a long time to actually be done. Um, and a lot of stitches to actually be done. So I think I ended at around 500 stitches. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then on Friday, I had still quite a bit of time left and I decided to just start on the next project, hopefully finishing the next project in the hopes of having enough time to stitch on one of my non-full coverage pieces, which did not work out, but I'm still very happy I decided to stitch a second project on Friday. The project I then started was Mini Magic Mirror by Heaven Nerve Designs. The artwork is by Anne Stokes. This is going to be the finished piece and I'll show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I got to. So I'm stitching in this page over here and I hope you can see it but I did a lot more in the mirror over here. And I'm not actually done with all the stitches in the mirror itself except for one or two colors in that one over here, but um, I finished the next column I was stitching on because I stitched this one in columns. I go through the columns from top to bottom, left to right, pick the first symbol that's missing, 
do one length of thread and move on to the next one. Except for black. I leave off all the black until I have finished the page with everything else except for the black and then I just fill in the black. So that mirror is more or less done and the next column up here um, will actually start in the mirror itself and not in the frame. So that's very exciting <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to that to do more over here and in her wing. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to that. But <laughs> I'm with her, I want to do 500 stitches every week and last time, or well, last week on Friday when I stitched on it, um, I was kind of done with stitching on it. But I did not want to drag it out for another day because, as I said, I need some time between two projects and I knew that in the afternoon I would need to leave for work. And therefore, normally the mornings before I go to work, I do not have a ton of stitching time. And if I then have to break it between two projects, there would be a lot of progress. So I just really wanted to finish my 500 stitches on Friday, but I kind of was overstitching. So when I reached 503 stitches, I left it. <laughs> I was good. <laughs> I really was um, hoping to get those 500 stitches with my last length of thread. And I did 500, get 503 and I'm, I was done. Um, so now I'm looking forward to continuing on this one with this part over here, um, hopefully with a bit more time this one, uh, this week around and be not so pressed for time. I feel like last week I was a little bit pressed for time as I only started stitching, really stitching on Wednesday. But um, I already know today won't be a lot of stitching, if any at all. Um, mostly because of this video <laughs> and the next few days are kind of busy as well so we'll see how much I actually get done but it would be nice to finally get around to stitch some more on my non full coverage pieces because so far I did not do as much on them as I was kind of hoping when I invented that new rotation so yeah okay last full coverage project um, was then Story Keep the Frog Prince by Happen Enough Designs, the artwork was by Melanie Dallon. I started this on Saturday and I knew I did not have a whole lot of time stitching on Saturday because of late shift and on Sunday I had a late shift as well. Um, so I wanted to have this one as my last project to be able to pull it out over two days and that's actually what I ended up doing. So I show you a picture of what it looked like last time here. And this is where I got to. So on this one, I needed 800 stitches. I was down here um, and stitching this in diagonals of 10 by 10 blocks. And I was in that diagonal down here. I needed four more blocks. So I did those. And then I started off with the next diagonal and did actually five blocks. But those down here already had a lot of stitching in them. So I ended up with about 850 stitches. And next time I stitch on her, I'm going to start right in her face. So that's very exciting, but also very confetti happy. <laughs> um, she stitched on a 32 count light blue even leaf. I'm stitching two over one ten stitch, needle mender from Denker Designs. And yeah, she looks really pretty. Um, and I'm really looking forward to doing some more on her. And I think I only need to finish that diagonal and then my year and goal will be done. So two more times of 800 stitches and I will have reached that goal. Very exciting, very exciting. So, sorry. Yeah, that's basically what I did. So did a bit more down here and started up one more day and more up here. And now, next time I will start in on her face. Very exciting. To do more in here, finish off that first eye. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So that's going to happen sometime this week. Um, hopefully sometime as early as Thursday or Friday. Um, so I then get to my non full coverage pieces. Um, but we'll see about that, I guess. I did stitch on one of my non full coverage pieces, not on Sunday, like I was hoping to. But as my trouble stitching, so I got a little bit more progress on that one. 
um, and that is Rainbow Queen by Nora Bolia. This is going to be the finished piece, and I share a picture of what it looked like last time here. And looking at it now, it looks like I did quite a bit for travel stitching this week. Um, I did a lot of those greenish tur turquoise colors over here. I did more in here and in here as well. So I'm actually quite happy with, with um, what I did on her. And now imagine I had a, t uh, a day of stitching on her at home. That would have been nice. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't always work that way. Yeah, I'm really happy that I at least got to do some stitching on her and I can wait to take her with me for work again. Um, basically, those over here and those over here are the points where the dress is the widest and then it gets smaller again. So I'm still am working um, towards the point, towards the widest point, um, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly but surely. She stitched on a 32 count gray linen and stitching two over two for crosses. Needleminder is from Denker Designs. And yeah, she's just really beautiful. And so far, I only took kind of simple projects with me to work, to stitch on. And she is the first, let's say, more involved piece um, where I have a lot of beads on. I mean, I took Sleepy Hollow with me as well, but there weren't a lot of beads. There wasn't a lot of metallic. Um, but she just is very sparkly, and I had a lot of colleagues already uh, looking at her um, to see what actually I did there. <laughs> I mean, most of them know I crossed it, and they saw a lot of my projects already. But with this one, they all stop it there. <laughs> she is really beautiful. She really is. So yeah, going to take her with me um, today as well, because I have a few more late shifts left. Um, and then I am actually on vacation time. So yeah, a few more work days and then I'm free for two weeks. So really looking forward to that. Um, <laughs> I do have a lot of things to do in my house and stuff during that vacation time, so I'm not sure if I'm actually going to go anywhere, but um, at least I do not have to go to work, so maybe I can do a lot of stitching, considering the weather is getting worse and worse, um, and it's getting winter, and that means a lot of time snuggling up in my blankets and stitching. So, we'll see. Um, okay. I have one more project lying next to me and I'm still debating if I'm going to show you or not. I think I'm just going to show you anyways, although I did not stitch on it and probably not going to stitch on it again this week. Nevertheless, this is Cinderella Rags to Riches by John Elliott. Um, basically two patterns inside. I'm stitching the combined version um, and I'm really hoping to finally get a bit more progress on her, um, especially because she is the one that still needs the most work to finish my year and go because I want to finish her this year. And that means I still have to do the Dress of Doom. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Cinderella Rags Riches. Cinderella and Rags is already done. I'm stitching on Cinderella and Rags. Sorry, Cinderella in Riches. And those are stitched on a 28 count casual linen in the color of Fog by Pictures Plus. I'm stitching two over two for crosses with all the called for materials. And I really want to get going on her, but I guess we'll see about that. Hopefully soon um, that I finally get around to sit on her some more. Um, it would be time for that. It definitely would be time for that. Uh, I have a bit more than three months left to finish all of my year goals. And especially Cinderella Rex Riches gets to the point where I have to stitch on only Cinderella and Riches to actually finish her this year. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, that's everything I have for you. So I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed. And I will be back next Monday um, to show you what I did stitch on this week. One more thing. I'm not going to upload this video right away. So I'm very sorry if it uploads um, either this evening or even tomorrow morning. Um, 
just because I have a late shift I have to leave kind of soon and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to upload beforehand. So we'll see about that. Um, and I hope you still enjoyed it, <laughs> even if it's a little bit later than normal. And I will see you next Monday.